What is up everybody, Escape211 here. We're on the test server and we're gonna be looking at uh, the Helix 6. I know some of you probably have already looked at this, but we're gonna do it here. Obviously these are very similar to Jabs, but if you look at the perk that it has, it's just gonna have superior to targeting speed, range, and how the arc height works. Uh, to hit its target better, all right? Uh, but if we look at its stats sheet, um, it's it's similar to the uh, Javelin 6, all right? Um, except that you are gonna see a different reload speed and then its range is gonna be longer, all right? Its damage per magazine is actually less, but it does more damage per shot just because its magazine only has four instead of six like the uh, Jav 6 does. So we're gonna go over to that uh, just so we can compare that stat sheet. Yeah, and you'll see that its overall damage per magazine is higher, but it just has more in its magazine. But it also has a longer reload speed and less optimal range. So, you know, a lot of things though are very similar. Double damage chance is the same, uh, all that kind of stuff. But because this is gonna be targeting faster, uh, it has more range. There's gonna be some leg up that I think the Helix has, as well as the fact that it is epic. So that grade system, guys, again, is gonna be affecting this. The other thing is this also has a legendary reload implant for it. All right, the uh, Javelins only have a uh, rare one. So you're gonna see a big difference in how much quicker these come back. So it's overall DPS, DPS should shine more than the Javs do. But we're gonna jump into a match here and we're gonna see how this baby functions. Let's go. All right, oh man. As I look at some of these maps, I feel like I should have picked the, uh, the Lancer, right? Just for doing all the fun jumping, but you know, I don't use Shadow as much, so I thought he'd be a good one to do. Uh, I also just worry I'm gonna be using him less with the grade changes, but we'll see. We'll see when we get there. All right, um, uh, yeah, already though, you could see that I was starting to capture um, a, a uh, these targets, yeah, and it, and it gets it pretty quick. Oh, that guy's a Shadow, so I can't get him. I love the way the missiles on this look, and the arc actually does look better in terms of how it actually is going to angle to hit its target, where it just goes higher and then darts down more. Uh, I think that's gonna make it easier to hit your target overall. All right, since I'm still in shadow, I'm gonna hide behind here. Come on, where is that guy? Okay, I, I see him, but he's still stealth. All right, good, we can take out that guy in the meantime. But you can see how, how quickly this catches the target. I think it does it way faster. And then of course the reload only being like five seconds for these, if you cycle them back and forth, you should have uh, you know, the ability to shoot stuff way sooner than you did with the jabs. Um, so that definitely is gonna help how this weapon functions and cycles. Ooh, okay, all right, we got him. All right, good, good, good. At least nobody's by me. That could have been really bad. Oh no, 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 like that. That could have been bad. All right, good. Oh, we got stealth in, quick. There we go, and he's not stealth, so we got him. All right. <laughs> that could have looked ugly. All right, you can see though how like, I mean, it's still only six. So like something like this, the stalker, it's gonna be harder for him to deal with. Thankfully, someone did some damage to him. But I mean, you can kind of almost barrage targets like for how quick the reload comes back. And I can see, I mean, this is only the six and uh, you know, it's very, very likely we're gonna see more so as the higher grades come up, if they keep a similar reload speed, this is gonna be very difficult for targets to deal with um, because it's gonna be able to find targets fast, shoot a lot faster, um, you know, the, the arcs are gonna be better on it. You know, so it's just gonna function better. And again, because this is epic, uh, we should see its power just generally do better than what the Javs did. So overall, I think uh, the idea behind this seems really good. Yeah, the lighter targets, of course, the six is gonna deal well with, but just like any other six energy weapon, this is gonna lose value at the top end, but um, not doing too bad. I mean, I don't know how many kills we have exactly right now, but we're getting close to there. Yeah, but look, a six is only taking out half of that stalker. So, you know, tank your bodies. Yeah, it's, it's gonna take more cycles of your weapon to deal with, but because it comes back so fast, oh man, what am I, I must be missing that. What did I do to miss that? Angle must've been off. Um, all right, we got to Rampage, not bad. We'll take that, but look at how far away this thing can reach too, man, that is really nice. Yeah, I mean, if you can get the legendary implants for this, it is going to shine pretty strong. It's gonna be hitting very far. I mean, does this replace like Rocket Mortar for people? It very well could. It's got more potential in that sense. 
Yeah. I do like how this functions. I, I actually think there's good potential for this weapon. Um, you know, if you like jabs, you'll love, you'll love these. And uh, just how its potential could work out with implants, to me, just seems very viable. Especially it being epic with the gray changes. But, um, you know, that's my overall thoughts on this. You guys can let me know what you think about this weapon. Do you plan on getting it? Do you think it's going to be effective in the meta? I think it has a place for sure. But uh, love to hear your thoughts. And we'll see you out there on the battlefield.